The new trailer just dropped for Rebels Season 2 Part 2, and I have every detail you may have missed. Opening shot. This is a Sith Temple. From the star pattern on the ceiling, we recognize its similarities to Jedi Temple where Ezra received his kyber crystal. It is possible this entire temple is under Lothal, or another planet like Lothal. It may also be a figment of their imaginations, like the mysterious cave of evil on Dagobah. This is a dark holocron, or a Sith holocron. It holds the secrets of the Sith, and its knowledge will help the rebels fight against Vader and the dark side. I have no idea what's happening in this scene, but did anyone feel a slight recall to Starkiller Base or Kylo Ren's lightsaber? This building appears to be the ruins of a Jedi Temple, maybe the one on Lothal. Shiny logo is shiny. Ahsoka says there's a little bit of truth in legends. This is a very metaphysical message. They're saying, hey fans, we love you. We know we blew up your expanded universe, but hey, we loved it too. And so what you need to know is that we may draw from it from time to time. So just know that we love you. Please buy stuff. Signed, Lucasfilm. Kanan talks about the Rebels wanting a base. I understand that the Rebels want a base. And I understand how strategically it may be helpful. But as soon as the Rebels get that base, they will lose that base. Honestly, have you ever seen a Star Wars movie where the Rebels actually keep their base? It never happens. As soon as they find a base, whether on Yavin, Hoth, wherever, they get chased out of it by the Empire. Even after they blow up the Death Star, they get chased out of their own base. I'm sure that somewhere, someone out in the comments is going to point out that they use the bases only between the movies because, you know, story and plot. But I will say that if in Rebels, our group gets a base, very quickly they will be driven from it by the Empire. I will bet you a whole dollar on that. Chum Sedilla shows up. He's another Clone Wars tie-in. He is more importantly, Hera's father. It looks like many of the good folks of Ryloth have tagged along to help Hera and our rebels too. Like father, like daughter, I guess. Hey look, it's General, I mean Princess Leia. What you may not know is that at this time, she will be cooperating with the Imperials while secretly undermining their operations. Whales in space. Hey look, they're doing a synchronized skydive. You may not have seen that Kanan is wearing a painted helmet. This combined with the fact that there are space whales, leads me to believe that they are in fact diving into a gas planet. You may, like me, have seen the scene a couple of times, but only on repeat viewing do we see there's actually an entire other Inquisitor standing on the left of the fifth brother and seventh sister. A secret Jedi Order battles against the Inquisitors. What? <laughs> a secret Jedi Order battles against the Inquisitors? Okay. So these Jedis, seen here, are actually called Sentinels. They're a group of quiet Jedi who balance force and technical skills. They are often found throughout the Jedi Temple, but few people knew of their existence. When Order 66 occurred, Sidious feared that many of these Jedi survived due to the fact that they often served on distant worlds. Here we have Ezra communicating with Yoda via the Force within the underground Jedi Temple on Lothal. He's visualized here because of Ezra becoming stronger with his abilities. And the area of the temple is strong with the force. In the excitement of this scene, it's easy to miss that Kanan has jumped on the ship of a Mandalorian leader. He looks very similar to Pre Vizsla, the leader of Death Watch. We know it is not him though, because he was murdered by Darth Maul. Hey look, Rex is doing his best impersonation of John Cena. <laughs> Notice, dear viewer, that Kanan is riding on top of the ghost in space. Our rebels are approaching Geonosis. What is less noticeable is the three battle stations from the old confederacy floating in a debris field above the planet. This is a very small detail with very huge implications. Ezra is writing, and let me hear you say it now, whales in space. In front of the Sith temple, these bodies are frozen into stone like the villagers of the island of Pompeii. Darth Vader is preparing to duel Ahsoka within the Sith Temple. Ahsoka is using holocron footage to teach Ezra about Anakin. The Empire, the Inquisitors, and Darth Vader 
find the underground Jedi Temple on Lothal. A Jedi Sentinel teaches Kanan about how the dark side is tempting Ezra. Ezra holds the Sith holocron. He's tempted to learn what it holds on the inside. He hears a voice calling to him. What only true fans with good eyes will notice though is that the one tempting him is none other than Darth Maul. A scene of the new Inquisitor dueling against Ezra. What is less noticeable is Kanan is knocked out on the floor behind the Inquisitor. Our rebels look at a map of what is at the center of the star planetary group. What you may not have noticed is that this map leads to where the last of the Lasat, Zeb species, lives. Ahsoka speaks with Vader from within the Jedi Temple. She now knows he has become Darth Vader. Kanan prepares to fight a Jedi Sentinel. What is less apparent and can only be seen up close is that he is in fact holding a red lightsaber. The question is, where did he get that? Ezra discovers a cross guard lightsaber similar to Kylo Ren's in The Force Awakens. Although the lightsaber is new to us, it is something that was supposedly an ancient design in the Star Wars universe. Ahsoka and Vader finally have their duel. And while it may look like Vader may win, keen eye viewers will notice that Ahsoka shows no fear. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a very fast introduction to everything featured in the trailer. If you'd like to learn more about some of the finer details of the things featured here, then tell me in the comments what you'd like to see. And shout out to Wikipedia for giving me some of the finer details of this episode. Until next time, may the Force be with you.